what happens, Howard, when somebody says, I have a problem uh, with, with, with the credit report that you sent to me? I've looked at it. It's wrong. And the consumer thinks, okay, well, there's, there's somebody that's really going to pay attention to this. Somebody's really going to look at this, and they're going to get it straightened out, and I'm going to be able to cut through all the bureaucracy, and they're going to get my life right. I isn't that way, way far from the truth? That's about as far from the truth as you can get, Mike, <laughs> because the fact of the matter is the Fair Credit Reporting Act requires requires that they should conduct a reasonable investigation when a dispute is filed by a consumer. What actually happens is will amaze you. There are two different ways you can uh, file a complaint. You can either pick up the phone and call an 800 number, in which case you will talk to someone in India who has absolutely no authority whatsoever to handle your dispute. What the people in India will do is to try to convince you that the only way you can get a dispute resolved is to go back online and file their online complaint. Now when you file an online complaint, amazingly enough, this is then spent, uh, sent to their dispute resolution center, which is located in Chile, uh, and there's another one located in India, another one uh, located in the Philippines with the three companies. In Chile, for example, they are handled by very young people who have the duty of going through 90 of these per day. They will, re they will review only enough of the, of the dispute, the form that you file, to determine the, just the very largest general nature, and they will reduce that to a two-letter code. For example, if you submit a, a very lengthy uh, affidavit that you're David Smith and that you're the wrong person, you did not file bankruptcy, uh, this is not your transaction, and you submit all kinds of paperwork to support that, the person reviewing that will simply go through it long enough to determine that you're saying that this is the wrong person. They will put the letters WP on it and their work is done. They, have no, they, have, they can't phone you, they can't email you, they have absolutely so, so no as authority. So as a, as a practical matter, Howard, nothing happens. Nothing happens. The, the, you have the agency that says they complied with the letter of the law, but the consumer whose life is upside down because they've been told they can't buy a house, they can't buy a car, they know that the credit reporting uh, is completely wrong, but as a practical matter, nothing really happens. Isn't part of the problem, uh, Howard, that you, this, you used to have an intensely personal process of credit review and credit reporting. It used to, it was person to person, it was bank to person, it was agency to person. Now you, you have it being taken uh, where you simply have somebody keying in information, somebody in India, as you say, or somebody in Chile. It could be a design in the software. It could be a problem there. It could be incorrect social security number. It could be a wrong keystroke. And all of a sudden, a guy like David Smith has his life turned upside down because some bumpkin who's unwilling to do their job or is not even directed to do their job uh, doesn't have control, uh, even if they find a mistake. That's absolutely correct, and it takes literally years to get this done, and in most cases, people just wait the seven years until it goes off the credit report automatically.